We are pulling into Mrs. Apple's Crab Shack. I had some of hers. I tasted garlic for three days. <laughs> no, they're good though. Why, I'm in line. It's not uh, really recommended for bigger boats, uh, but for the smaller size, you know, if you're under probably 22 foot, somewhere around there, and uh, you'll be pretty good right here. Again, this is Mrs. Apple's. Uh, and right over there is Doc's Bait House. That has been here since, oh my gosh. That's been 60s. Yeah. a long time, huh? Yeah. We'll be right back. Okay, while I'm waiting for it to be in line, we have a bunch of condos here. I remember when there used to be a radio station here a long time ago. And that's pretty much it. Small little shot of Miss Apples. While I'm waiting, again, get the garlic crabs of the bomb. All right, since I just dropped in at Miss Apples and Doc's Bait House is just right here, I thought about, you know, this is good a place as any to see if we can find any grass. And we have Island Point condominiums right behind me, as you see. Whitney Bay there used to be a nice marina here. Actually, there still is a nice marina. All right, one test in the back. Coco did a really good job on all these uh, floating docks. I'm glad they put them in, it looks really good. And people are using them too, that's the thing. Place where you can launch your boat, be winter park. I know, Billy boy. Went to school with him, matter of fact. There we go, city of Coco right there. We're gonna be sitting in here and getting a couple more samples.
the boat was on the uh, six six foot mark. It was great in here. No wind back here. It's really nice. I wanted to make sure we are in five foot of water. Up front, I was about six foot of water actually, and we are in 74 degree water. I don't think. Obviously, I'm looking on this my uh, my Garmin here, and there's no grass. We can definitely see that. We're gonna be ready to head to the Dragon, so come along with us. Bye. The Dragon's a little bit of ways away. The water is super smooth right now, so it shouldn't take us very long to get down there at all. And just like that, we're in Merritt Island. Some called Dragon Point. The Dragon was built in 1971 by an artist, Louis Vandekar. The Dragon was created from around 20 tons of concrete and steel and stood 35 feet high and 65 feet long. Known as Annie. Yes. And a few moons ago, I got to take a walk inside Annie, as a matter of fact. The Dragon served as a landmark for both locals and also a playhouse for children. In August 2002, the sculpture was badly damaged and partly collapsed into the water during a storm. In April 2015, a plan was announced to build a new Dragon Royale by 2017. Obviously, that hasn't happened. There's really not much left of the Dragon anymore, shamefully. It'd be really cool if somebody had decided to go on ahead and uh, rebuild that. But uh, definitely there's some expense involved. No question about that. But this is where we're going to be and see what we got here. All right. See you. Yeah, there's not much left here on the Dragon Point. And I got to see one of my favorite boats. This uh, yellow fin right here. Oh, I'd like to go for a ride on one. Oh, yes. So if you got one, <laughs> I'll let him go for a ride. To make it fair, I'm going to be on the other side of the Dragon. It's just right on the other side of the point. So I can get done inside the river and the other side as well, you know, to make it fair. here that was Dragon Point there's a lot of history there all the way down here at the tip of Merritt Island let's see if my top gets uh, oh my top's doing good I got I got plenty of room yeah I got plenty of room let's go see 